my name is Sarah, I'm in first year and I'm studying education and I haven't decided my second degree yet but um, I'll talk you through my portfolio. So it's all based around the farm. I like to look at different aspects like tracks, like animals, different kind of printing, patterns. So this is my idea book, so I'll start here. And I've looked at sort of different patterns, just different artists and um, how they use patterns and um, sort of Moroccan patterns a lot as well. And um, I wanted to tie this into like animal prints and tire tracks, like from tractors and quads and stuff. Cause that's kind of what this is all about. Just looking at different, like interesting. This is like from Corinthian chapels, a little kind of uh, um, sculpture work that was cool. And I did some weaving with straw um, and then some more like different kind of materials. I just liked playing around with different kind of medias that was interesting. So, and then I worked in higher tire tracks these are some pictures from around the farm and the snow and um, like imprinting. They, they do leave really interesting patterns. And the second thing I looked at a lot was tools and how they can like transform things, but also on the actual object of the tool itself. So I um, just looked at this artist, Jim Dine, and like all his work and um, different kind of playing around with it, kind of my own bits. And then this, this um, guy's really good Instagram page where he like lays out objects to fit in a cool sort of pattern. And that's me doing more and more and then on to more abstract kind of paintings that I thought like represent sort of farm and paintwork. So through here just more and more and then I worked into I think the famous Picasso. So I just loved how like he really um, exaggerated like the shape of the animal. So I did a bit of that all through here and continuing like different paintwork. And I actually got really into like and um, just like playing black ink and like how one line can make something look so cool and um, just different bits like that, kind of making little drawings of it, my own work sort of. Mm -hmm. Again, just like the shapes, how shapes can look cool. Maybe like my work is very detailed, but just how shape can look kind of cool. And then farm layouts and so forth on again, more printing. And I think the last aspect that I look at is the door. I love this actually, it's pretty cool. And um, this farmyard door, I mean, it's pretty broken and old, but it just has really cool um, features to it. And then the last kind of aspect was um, gestural drawing. I really liked because like animals are moving and it's hard to get full sort of a range of it, but like little detail can, it's pretty cool. So I just did a uh, little gestural work. I'll show you that now maybe actually. Now it's just a, a book all on tools. So I just run through different placement of tools, kind of layouts. Um, this is done with rust, it's got like a rusty old nail and rubbed it on the page. Um, this is, I think it's cool to use object to work with itself. So like this, I just like painted a, a disc or something and printed with it. Different kind of shape, run through it more and more, kind of getting the idea of just like overworking everything, seeing like what I can do with all the different sort of like medias, what I enjoy working with the most. Like it can be quick, it doesn't have to be great, I don't think it just has to be like what's fun for you. So there's nails, more screws, and um, quick drawings I think kind of work better nearly. And um, more pages printing like with the object. I do a lot of palette work, it's quite fun. And um, keep going, just more pliers. I was using the pliers to like stab around the edge of the pages and scrubbing with the nails more collage work, different sort of printing, and um, yeah, sort of like those different sort of media kind of stuff that pulls out. And um, I think line work can actually have a lot of like movement in it, which is cool. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all the tools. That's it, yeah. And then I looked a little bit on this, it's just the shed, so it's like, Farms all this obviously have like really old sort of materials and wood and I love this door, it's like cracked and you know different sort of I just looked different ways like in tray bad and looked in different sheds, like the tin roofs are pretty cool. Just different sort of interesting parts to it. The roofs I really like um ivy growing, sort of um palette work here, and um, the paint peeling is quite cool and I liked that as well. And some more layouts again, like how just finding a line and shape can work really cool. More wheelbarrow here, just different sort of looks at it. And what's going on here? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, yeah, here's then um, barrels. 
I was looking at kind of, I think it's cool the way you can like lay them out so weirdly on a page when it's just a blank page, it's up to you how you want to lay it out. Tops are fun to draw, different palette work out here is quite nice to use. And then this is kind of like a bigger book and I looked at like wood here. So like painted on wood, scratched in prints and signs. This is like mono printing that I did in school. So I went in and used the printing stuff. I did like ropes, scratches, different sort of prints, mark making. Some of this could be tire tracks. That looks like tire tracks maybe there. And just playing around with tools. And um, this book's kind of broad because of everything in it. This is like wood I found around the farm. I looked at we have plastic to cover stuff. In here, this is my dad's hand, like a working hand, kind of I thought it was cool. Like you hear he's like, you know, lifting up something, that kind of thing, like a kind of face, a bit of um, drawings like this. And here I've got the rope, the twine actually is quite a you think that was all around the farm and like the unraveling of rope is a cool concept. And um, tire tracks, some more tire tracks, they're pretty fun. This I didn't look at much, but it is quite cool. It's like if you look up in a shed and the structure and like all the like vertical lines and horizontal lines, it looks, it makes really cool art. And I did the process of my dad lifting up the trailer. Here he was inventing the crew bar, I think. And then this, I looked a bit at material and how like gates block out some of your view from something, which is kind of interesting concept. Uh, this was done with a spring, a monoprint where I like got spring and just made some pattern. And again, looking at this sort of the idea of blocking out your view. And uh, this is a really old twig right now, but just looking at different sort of patterns it makes. Again, wood, some stitching can be cool to add to your work. Um, more printing, some straw from the farm, tire tracks, again, that I found along. Um, here I started to make some, um, some prints from, you know, tire tracks, different things that I thought were cool. And this is when I actually just went outside, put down a piece of paper and drew over it on the quad to see what art it would make. And then I started putting out stencils to do different sort of printing. And here's some more prints that are quite fun to do. This is like animals' feet walking along. Some more twines back in. Looking again at some animals. This is like meant to be wooden pallets that are like kind of again blocking your view of animals. Some more exploration work, kind of covering your view with uh, mesh paper of different animals at the time. Looking at animal printing, their you know their tracks that leave behind. Um, here more tracks again. I just use toy cars to go around. On this page, I'm looking at puddles, water trout, and um, use some twine printing, stitching, working from different this is wallpaper. I think that I went over. It splashed water to so paint, hot glue gun to make kind of dripping effect. Um, just some more watery kind of stuff and then prints I made with some holographs.